Hello everybody, Duke Lazy here again, and we're playing another game of Plague Inc. This time we're actually going to take a look at the fungus. We will of course put on every gene mutation we can. I'm not quite sure how the fungus plays yet, so I guess I'll try the increased chance of <laughs> increased chance of mutating. And I don't have much of a choice here. I think there's more humid areas in the world than... Actually, th that doesn't make sense. No, there's more arid places. There we go. We are, of course, going to play on normal first. What is a good name for fungus, though? Hmm. I'll you just use the Norwegian word, which, which is sop. I guess that's mushroom and not fungus. There's probably a difference in there. But I am not educated in plant life and such. We will begin in Egypt again. It almost feels feels like cheating, because it's just such a nice place to start. We actually have some points here. Let's take a look. The transmission looks the same. The symptoms looks the same. Oh wow, okay, this is new. The abilities. To infect, does that just instantly release a burst of plague spores into the air to infect a new country? Does that simply... like any country? Can I decide which one? Oh, maybe I can actually do this for everything. Very interesting. I haven't seen these guys before, so that's why it's so interesting and it takes a while for me to like look at it. I think we will just start by doing stuff the like default way with air and water transmission. And if for some reason Greenland closes its borders, I am going to try the spore burst. Actually, if it only costs one DNA point, yeah, I might as well try that then. And water. Did that instantly infect another country? Yes, it did. Norway. Lovely. There's fungus in my in my home home now. Fantastic. Did the cost go up though? Two DNA points. Okay, so it looks like that will be a pretty effective way of transmitting, or well, at least spreading around. Tsunamis are probably good for fungus. Not so good for humanity though. Looks like 3600 people actually just flat out died from the tsunami. Let's see. Yeah, let's see which country we infected now. Seems like East Africa was the unlucky yeah, I have no idea what I was going to say there. They were just unlucky. There you go. I think we need 20 points for the like super air and super water transmission. And that should do it maybe. 20 points. There we go, that's 20. But I'm wondering then, is the symptoms for fungi and bacteria and viruses all the same? Is it like that for everything? I would have thought they gave different symptoms. Oh wait, have I been discovered? What the hell? Oh no, I got... did I buy cysts? Did I just click too quickly? Did it? Did... Damn it! Okay, that might that might destroy our playthrough, but that's fine. Let's get. I don't actually have enough points. I was thinking about getting all of these so I, I'd spread more in the north, but that didn't help, <clears throat> or that didn't happen. Okay, they're already trying to work on a cure. 
How long though? Four years? Oh no, they're starting to shut down airports and shit. We have to do something. Uh, first of all, cold, then research. Genetic hardening, making it harder to research. Sounds like a very good idea. Maybe I should have actually spent points on devolving. I guess you live and you learn. Like so, now it will hopefully take a long time. Huge earthquakes, we like that. Oh wow, Norway just flared up. But yeah, we need some serious transmission there. Oh no, they're doing shit that helps them. That's not good. I guess we'll just have to do this in order to affect more countries to make it spread faster. Hopefully we, <coughs> hopefully we will still have enough points, Jesus Christ. Enough points to actually become deadly. Let's check how many countries are we missing. Oh wow, that's a lot of countries. I was hoping I could get all of the mainlands, like, infected, because then I could spend the spore burst to actually get the islands and shit. Once we actually get to the country, we are super effective at infecting people, so... Let's see now then. Still lots of countries missing. That ain't good. Okay, that's Canada, I believe. Yes. Let's see. How many are we missing now? One, two, three, four, five. And all but Germany's on, on the waters, so I think we're going to spend another spore burst here. Like so. That should be the entire world. No, Caribbean and Philippines still live. Okay, let's spend a few more points then. 13, 14. That didn't even work. Okay, let's try it one more time then. A new country. There we go. Okay, now we have to either reshuffle or become more deadly. I think we're going to become more deadly. Oh, tempting. That might infect a lot of people, but... I think we'll just go up here. Now we're really deadly. And infectious and serious and all of that stuff. Severe. Oh damn, we might be killing too many people in Greenland. Okay, we'll try this. Hopefully that infects lots of people. Or not. Okay, we done goofed. We done goofed in Greenland. Devolve, please. <clears throat> okay. If it still goes down, I'm in deep shit. Okay, I'm actually in deep shit anyway. Damn it. <clears throat> that ain't good. Please go up. Oh, uh, sorry, I misclicked there. The bubble was like behind my screen. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we we have actually lost this because of Greenland. Greenland did screw us up in the end. Just have to keep devolving. Now we should not be deadly, but we are infectious still. So. And we can't do the second shuffle either. It was so close. Well, we did kill half of the world. I guess that's something. I might have to do a couple of more bacterial playthroughs to get more of the gene mutations. That might help us when we play as a fungus. Oh well. Better luck next time to me. Like this video, subscribe, bye bye.